Welcome back to Normal World. My name is Quarter Black Garrett, and hailing from Sin City, Las Vegas, right now, Dave Landau. Hi, everybody. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, man, you were kind of spread eagle there for a second. I was. I was. Afraid. Hey, it's, it's a uh, dirty you, city. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know what the what the saying is: "Do as the Romans do." When you're <laughs> never heard of it. When in Rome, I'm not sure. Do the Rome heard that they spread eagle? They right. spread eagle. Uh, hey, never uh, it's Valentine's spread Day. Myself, Dave. <laughs> do you want to be my Valentine? Yes. Okay, it's just sad because you're not here. You know. Did you get the heart candy I sent you? I did. Uh, you didn't remember that I don't like chocolate, though. But I appreciate it anyways. It's a thought that counts. Why did I get some? Uh, well, they're for they're for flawed, actually, because uh, you hate chocolate. I don't like That's chocolate That's why you either. shouldn't have got that. <laughs> I love chocolate. Yeah, you do. You're <laughs> made of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, uh, and flawed. Zula's in the house. Flawed, what's up? What's up, guys? How you doing? Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It's pagan holiday. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have that debate. You can have it. It's it's sure. It's pagan. I don't care. It's fucking stupid holiday. And uh, Mo is also here as well. Hey guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for, for having out. us. And uh, as always, Angela. Hey, yeah. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> you're wearing a you're wearing a sweater. I'm wearing a sweater. Fly's wearing a sweater suit. Our sweater's dope. Though. I was wearing a sweater. Yeah, that is like awesome. sweater weather, but it's uh, 95 <laughs> degrees in here. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> First, on the news right now, uh, two police officers opened fire on their own squad car. The circumstances are appalling. Please play the clip, and I'll tell you what happened. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! It's distressing. Uh, the reason uh, he was saying Strats fired and unloaded, is a, and unloaded his complete magazine into the back of his own squad car and his fellow officer unleashed his her. entire... Uh, was it her? Yep. Of oh, wow. wow. This makes even more sense. <laughs> uh, it's, beca it's because uh, an acorn fell out of a tree and hit the squad <gasps> car. There was a, a person in the back of the car. Luckily, the police weren't trained very well and they missed every single shot. That's horrible. It's so it hilarious. wasn't a magician trying to get out of handcuffs? Because <laughs> I mean, that could have been a, a reason if it, they were if it was Copperfield. They don't know. It would have made sense. Could you believe? So going back into the office mistake, after that, <laughs> how like, could you mistake? How could you mistake a gunshot for an investment app? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm hit. He yeah, thought he was I'm hit. hit is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> I've been hit. <laughs> he waited for back. He called it back up. Backup showed up and they were like. He himself on the ground. Like, said, ah! He was struggling. He was struggling. It went on for a while. It went for a while. He's the one that yelled, I hit. Yeah, I'm I hit. I, I've been I hit. Know. He like stopped, dropped, and rolled, rolled across the street, unleashed, and then rolled, ran behind the car and was like, I'm hit. Ah! <laughs> he panicked. You totally. What? Look, I, I've heard that if you when you get shot, you may not know it. So it could just be like he assumed. I've heard when an acorn drops, you always know it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did he? I've actually. Uh, don't they pat about, down people? Don't I, they pat down. They do. Yeah. I've also heard when you get shot, you know it. Yeah, like it must burn or something. You got to know a little bit at least. Yeah, but if you're in shock. Yeah, I mean, I've never been just shot, like an so. acorn. <laughs> it's Why in the police manual. Shoot? Why and would you shoot your car? For real, he's in the back already. Yeah. Like that's wild. Shoot. So I, my assumption is that he padded them down and then oh. thought that in his prison wallet he snuck in a small little Derringer pistol and it was like. And then that's why the sound was so small. Through his handcuffs, like, though, too? That's it did happen, though. That happened like a few weeks ago. A dude had a gun up his ass. See? Yeah, that was like a oh. story a few weeks ago. So. Sadly, the the, really? the sheriff, uh, he resigned. 
Did he? Oh, yeah. Before he got fired, he <laughs> resigned first. <laughs> After he fired, or he yeah. shot Spider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of Richard Nixoned his way out of it more than he actually. <laughs> he <was> like, hey, <laughs> guys. <laughs> to go ahead and leave. Yeah. Oh, I gotta, Allow me. I appreciated my time here, guys. Done yeah. my part. Also, if you think there's a gunshot, wouldn't you look to see if there was, I don't know, broken glass coming <laughs> from your car? No. Why would at? you do that? Blood from your body. No, the, I, I watched the video. Like In the video, when he's, he like, gets behind that car you can see that there's like a red like it looks like some kind of stain on the he thought it was the ground so i'm like did he fall down roll around skin his knee or something and start bleeding and he's like i got it all right (laughs) it's after it's after he unleashes his entire magazine and he rolls over dog that's crazy (laughs) can you imagine being the person in the back of the car dude uh, yeah dude i want a settlement yep i'm so absolutely they should 100 million dollars and they were only in the back of the car because it was uh like grand theft auto or something wow only yeah the video game come on (laughs) (laughs) she's still a copy of san andreas I like that he did three majestic somersaults. He did, yeah. Like, like, I was my practice is hard on that. that was like, anytime I'm ready to roll. Yeah, it's like I've been. Oh, he I'm took no cover at all. He didn't at he first. Rolled. The ground I'm brave, really. And he was still just no. Wide there's open. a tree. There's other cars. There's another cop car. He gets on the ground. Like, oh, right there. <laughs> Bro, oh right here next to jump pro move. It's a Call of Duty movie right there. And hit more. Uh, that is horrible. You know, it could have been cool. Missed every shot. If uh, if there was not just an acorn involved. Yeah. If it was like an actual gun, that could have been cool. It could have been. He missed every shot. So like Man, one acorn. Just... Ding. Yeah. That's crazy. That's why you gotta, you know, why you gotta tase the car first. <laughs> yeah, but then you might reach for the wrong holster. <laughs> right. Sure, there is a woman on the shooting scene. a car, anyways. Yeah, yeah. it's always a possibility. A woman on the, scene. Wow. the only reason why she's not dead is a total accident. Yeah, she's just right. The act of God was just like yeah. knocking those bullets out of the way. Yeah. How many magazines like are in, was... a, in a Glock? Uh, how many? How many, mag- how many? How many bullets eight. are in a? Is it a eight? Is it eight or nine? I don't know. I think it's nine eight. and one in the chamber. I- or is it eight and one in the chamber? Can't answer that. The, I think, I think that's even. The the clip's even. I think an even number, isn't it? No. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Doesn't it go? I don't know. There's enough. There, there was plenty. Uh, Whatever he had. Well, that's a specific gun. <laughs> Whatever he had, he lo- unlocked. Glock, I think it's nine. <laughs> yeah. So that's two Whatever. Glock magazines emptied, yeah. Yeah, and cause... every single one missed. <laughs> Why? You guys need target. training. <laughs> no. You guys need training for real. <laughs> Puts the clip back in. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> he unloads Reload. like four, mag- four magazines. That's horrible. <sighs> we live in a in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Like, the the parody is Facts. real. The satire is real. We live it every single day. Speaking of um, eco friendly story. <laughs> yeah. Funeral home. Now, I didn't know about this. Angela had to inform me on this. Uh, a Colorado couple co- uh, collected funds from hundreds of families for their eco-friendly funeral services. For services. Yep. Uh, money they spent on cars, crypto, and designer jewelry while the bodies rotted in the basement, literally turning into liquid, just uh, laying on top of each other at the bottom uh, of the mortuary place. And this is a good racket. I think oh. it's a good idea. This is like the most eco-friendly. You're kind of making like a... Uh, you ever see one of those like terrariums and they like orange the, peels, but it's yeah, like in it, but it's humans. <laughs> yeah. And Absolutely. the worst part is in, in they de- were. Go ahead, Dave. Sorry. No, I'm just saying in Detroit we call that layaway. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the worst part is that they were sending people's ashes of their loved ones back, and it was just mixed concrete and gravel. Oh, that's so sad. It's <laughs> a thought that counts, though. Man, imagine yeah. is yeah. it? Yeah. At that point, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, so. you're really. It's really just for you anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I could have sent it back in jars, you know, like sure. gamer gamer water, like gamer girl water. But instead, it's like liquefied bodies. I guess that's the most eco friendly way to do it. Just, just don't it burn happen. anything and just True. let the it's let all natural, nature baby. take its course. Have you seen my rings, though? Do you see that? You could, have bo- you, could have, you could have burned like two guys and used those ashes. Yeah, right. Yeah, spread it out, <laughs> some, yep. dilute the concrete. Could have at least kind of seemed like it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill it. Between 2019 and 2023. <laughs> How long? 2019 and 2023. So four years. Gosh. Between, yeah. How many bodies? 
189. <laughs> wow. 189. What? How big was this basement? Big. And they, they were all just there? stacked on top. They turned into liquid. I'm like. So they just throw so it. Were they in bags? Yeah, just throw them in there. Sweeney Todd what? style. Like right wow. down a shoe. I'd say it's a shoe on her person basement easy. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> While well, they're trying ask. to shop that... for new facilities, they're like, how many bodies? Can you lay down, lay down, lay down on top of me. <laughs> Stack up. How many inside. can we? Yeah, we could do this. Wow. We write the papers I didn't up right know now. Bodies, I didn't know bodies liquefy, though. They're just into yeah. a drain. Yeah. Or, wow. Yeah. Well, the, or did the, they even have a drain? No, they didn't have a drain because the people <gasps> that came in to co- no the people that came in to collect the bodies said that they were slipping around so much oh, that it became a hazard, and they had to like bring in a crew to like clean up the liquid first because oh, they no. they couldn't get traction from their shoes. Oh. I hope somebody brought a slide whistle. <laughs> 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 wow! It's yeah, just like whoa, just whoa, grandma, <laughs> dude. What the hell? They bought an SUV. Yeah, crypto too. Nice crypto. No, of course. Oh, nice. That's it worth boring. it. Yeah, it was lavish <laughs> trips to Las Vegas. Nice. Oh, probably shit. saw. Dude, oh. you're, you could be there right now in the body. Yeah. Room. <laughs> they live there. Was it okay. their house? No way. No, oh, it was I was like asking. their business. Yeah, it was their business. Oh, my did God, anybody else work business. there? I don't believe so. So it's just the two of them. I mean, all you're doing I can is pull throwing up the them picture down. of the building. <laughs> is this illegal? <laughs> is, like, is it illegal? <laughs> yeah, a, of course. Is there it is. a log yes. against this? Yeah, okay. it's um body. They were uh, including abuse of a corpse, forgery, <laughs> absolutely money well, laundering. Abuse, you're laying them down. That's like yeah. gentle. I think abusing them would be like cremating them. You set them on fire. These are the, these are the things that are kind That's of abuse. delusional about uh No, no. Humans, abuse you know? is keeping them in a basement on top of 197 <laughs> other bodies. It was a funeral <laughs> home. That's oh abuse. Yeah, I got a picture so like, of it. If it's inside of a box, then it's good. Yeah. If it's in a basement, which is technically still a box, yep. just a larger a box, you could fit more people into it. That's a crypt. True. Still should is that be a okay. pizza hut? That's where it, <laughs> is it a, <laughs> it's an old it's pizza, a pizza hut? <laughs> <laughs> they are underground, too. They're it still underground. A, 200 more Look, bodies found you, in a Shakey's pizza. <laughs> if, you, if you bring your loved one to a former pizza hut, you, you get what you get. It's on you. It's on you at that point. That's wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, welcome. Welcome to Body Return to hut. nature funeral home. <laughs> Body hut. Return to nature? Yeah. Return to nature. They returned. <gasps> oh, but man. they weren't wrong. Yeah, I mean, they, they put it all out there. Let nature like, do what they were are, doing. Are regular funeral homes and stuff, like, those aren't equal, eco-friendly? Well, like no, re- I guess you're burnt because of the burning. <sighs> How is burning not eco-friendly? You're putting- uh, ozone layer, dummy. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, it makes yeah, the sun. We're talking the- about how hot the sun is. <laughs> yeah. Sun's really hot some days. You guys notice it? Some yeah. days it's not. Some days you're like, man, the sun is hot. And very bright sometimes. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can't see. This is true. Yeah, I yeah it's they, true. The, the hole in the ozone layer comes from people getting tires lit on fire around their necks. That's like the majority. <laughs> if there's a and then the rest of it, yeah. well, the rest of it is that. former fast food funeral homes. That's the other problem. They're like, we got the pizza ovens here. We could, yeah, you know. Yeah, they're already And they're like, the bodies don't fit. What are we going to do? Extra Stack crispy. Them. <laughs> yeah. welcome, welcome to body gangs. <laughs> if they would have just used the pizza ovens, they wouldn't have committed a crime. That's yeah. true. They would have been like, "You make a good point." Right? They could have just used those. <laughs> yeah. They're Why only not? missing Turn a couple on. of steps. Yeah. There's like yeah. two steps away from being totally legal and fine. Yeah, but bodies yeah. are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pile them up. <laughs> Deal with those later. Wow. Season. I'm imagining completely uncovered. No, no plastic. No, yeah, nothing. They're they wrap them up yeah. in sheets and duct tape. Sheets. Yeah. Sheets. Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> you guys like to oh, sleep boy. cool at night <laughs> in very super comfortable NASA inspired sheets. While well, you are in luck, Miracle Man. I like that. I you like do. To have my body cool at night. I love it when my body is cool. So cold, rigor mortis starts setting in. You could try it uh, right now. Cold? <laughs> what was that? That cold? Absolutely that cold. Frigid even. And it wicks away wow. bacteria. Bacteria <laughs> that is forming inside of your body as you decompose. Yeah. Try miraclemade.com slash normal. And you too can be uh, whisked away into the great beyond in some very comfortable, comfortable sheets. <laughs> Sounds appealing. Would my 178 roommates also like these sheets? <laughs> I absolutely guarantee they would. 
So if they want to, trymiraclemade.com slash normal. Mm-hmm. Use code mm-hmm. normal to claim your free three-piece towel set. If you need to clean up, 40% off. <laughs> you can get a whole set of towels. That's a that's a full-size <laughs> towel, a hand towel, and a face towel. Mm, nice. And that's trymiracle.com slash normal. Nice. And if they had used Miracle Made sheets, maybe they wouldn't have had this problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. self clean and, and really yeah. eco friendly. Yeah, Miracle Made. You can get and they're top built, and they're not made in an old pizza hut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're in. A, they're made in uh, science factories because uh, right. that's where I believe that they are made. Factories that make science. Yep, exactly. Uh, hey, um, we got we got another uh, ridiculous, stupid uh, clown world story here. Rachel Dolezal, you remember this lady, Rachel Dolezal? Love her. How could we uh, forget? She is, uh, she used to work for the NAACP. Turns out the she was Afro-American. white. The Afro-American? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very. Uh, <laughs> Very. Just a, just a little update. I feel like we should do an update on, on her. Uh, What's she doing? What's she up to? Yeah. OnlyFans. Nice. Of course. Okay. Nice. So let's go through oh. the, the timeline. Yeah? She's a, she's a white woman. No. <laughs> she identifies okay. as black. She identifies as black, which okay. that means she's white. So she's a white woman. Then she pretended to be black so long yep. that she tricked real black people <laughs> into letting her run parts of the NAACP. Yeah. Then got found out for it. Yep. Then used her clout to open her OnlyFans. She became a teacher. Oh, that was too. in between? Yes. Yes. She became a teacher because she was trying to tell. Yep. The truth. Yep. She's trying to tell her truth. What'd she teach? What African American studies. Yeah. Is it African American <laughs> studies? <It's gotta> be. <laughs> There's no way it was. <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, used her clout that she got off of being canceled from her first job to open the OnlyFans yep. so she could uh, show off her booty hole, get uh, plugged. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is There's accurate. Sci- scientific facts about the story. Yeah. Uh, then she lost her job, sadly. You know, we, we hate to see that. But a lot of teachers have uh, lost I, their jobs I, like that. I think it's just promotion. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. She taught the black woman's struggle. Oh, the I was going to say, oh. this tattoo says justice on it. I'm going to have to edit it later. <laughs> so, it. But I just no. need you to see the tattoo. Stop it. <laughs> Why? Stop it. She looks hot here. She has she a muscular look bad. Yeah. She has a muscular now, butt. That's, I did say that. Like, severe butterface. Paper yeah. bag. Severe. But I mean, look at that I mean, tattoo. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it says justice. She's working out. I appreciate it. Like she's doing work. She has big calves. Yeah, like Chun Li, like thick. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Black almost like, like she that. works out, works out really, really hard, so she could look like she's something else. <laughs> Get the curves. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Bozo the clown without without the colorful makeup. <laughs> yeah, she's got that she's, kind of. I wonder how many subscribers she I would she also has. like yeah. to point out real quick, she taught African history, <laughs> African American culture. She really did? And in, yep, an <laughs> intro to Africana studies. No, she this is didn't. after Bro, she was discovered what? to be completely white. Oh, w. Yeah, w. correct. W, I'm subscribing to oh, um, that. To her OnlyFans? She, and, yeah. And African and African American art history. There is not one class she taught <laughs> that, that had anything to do with whiteness. <laughs> wow! Wow! Is she like German too? Oh, or the like most Dutch white or something. The most yeah. white you could be. Yeah. I she's feel like Swedish I hope she's, is the most white. I hope yeah. she. I hope she's no. No, I think Dutch. She's German, Dutch. Czech, and Slave Swedish. Owners. Wow! <laughs> what I say? German. What did I say? <laughs> Was her OnlyFans cabin, uh, category ebony? Of course, you, <laughs> got it. you know what it is. <laughs> Thick ebony. Yeah. Two C's. Barely ebony. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. Oh my God. Wow. I'm here. Hey. That was just an, a, a Rachel Dolezal update. She's going down in Black History. <laughs> black History Month. This it time. is Black History Month, so that's the black segment. History month. Oh, wait. We should have fucking themed yeah. it. We should have had like yeah. a stinger and everything. Black History Month. Hey. Yeah. Oh, well. Next year. We can bring it back. Actually, yeah, we'll wait. <laughs> She'll be doing we'll be something. Around. <laughs> Justice <Yep>. is served. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed in the air <laughs> on this day in Black Fist, History, uh, somewhere else. <sighs> is she doing well on it, or is she making? She oh, she's doing well. Yeah, she she, yeah, she's probably yeah, doing, she's doing well. really well. She was like God. saying, "Sorry, I didn't show up for my butt plugging and all this." Like, yeah, she Stop got. She has an audience. Whoa, she's like not even showing up for her audience though. That's messed up. Yeah, I'm yeah. against everything. Now. I don't she like has. that. That's messed up. <laughs> Black. She shows up late. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> she's just being consistent. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> Everything she has is like whips and chains. You're like, you can't. I can't think that's too far into the. What are you doing? Cotton sheets. (laughs) Miracle man. 
like, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's horrible. We're being as polite about this as possible, Rachel. <laughs> Why are you like this, Rachel? <laughs> Like, come on. Do you want to chain me to a bed? No, I don't want to chain you. No one chained your ancestors. <laughs> like, You're the my worst. name is Toby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's her, <laughs> that's her name on there, Toby four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> she did change her name to forty O Z. Yeah, yeah, she did change her name. Yeah, her name is African now. Yep, she changed it. Like Nietzsche. Ni- oh, Nietzsche. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she changed her name to something for legal reasons. Uh, she trying to run? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Paying her taxes. <laughs> Wesley snaps. Everybody. With those, with those calves, she's running. <laughs> she's she is not skipping underground like that railroad. It's <laughs> Catchy Diallo. <laughs> That's her name, Mrs. Yeah, it's- Underground. <laughs> <laughs> she goes by Harriet. Harriet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to run a oh, man. underground railroad on me? <laughs> yeah. um, That's a train. A train That's on my horrible. underground railroad. <laughs> uh, Except nobody wants to keep no. her in the yeah. north or the south. <laughs> Sadness. Uh, Dave, Dave, oh, man. it's Valentine's Day, so I think uh, we're going to introduce this new game called Horrible Opinions, mm. Valentine's okay. Day edition. Okay. Yep. Roll it. Nice. I'm still afraid that I misspelled that, because I made that stinger. I didn't even see what it said. I uh, double-checked mm. it yeah, like three times, I'm still afraid that I misspelled it. Hey, all right, Valentine's Day, the game is, uh, you... Say three horrible opinions, and one of them is one that you actually hold, and we have to figure out what they are. Dave, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's uh, let's start. Flood. Me? You do. Uh, you do one. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so Flod's just gonna read his three, and then yeah. we're all gonna guess. Yeah, I mean, mix which one up. is your okay. actual opinion? I won't guess because I already know. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. All right, here's my first one. Men can cheat without any repercussions. <laughs> Number one. Okay. I don't like. I don't like how you just look right in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheating with you. Okay. <laughs> Together. Right. You only put that in public. <laughs> my bad. Uh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> if a man doesn't like his woman's outfit, she can't wear it. <laughs> I better not. Wait be a second. One. Domestic violence should be legal. <laughs> 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 well, it's obviously the third. <laughs> if you know Flood, you know. Yeah. You watch any of the yeah. Floodzilla streams. It's always going on and on. I don't play those. It's brutal. I don't play those games. Jeez. Oh, All right, Angela, what do you think? Which one do you think? I think. And we're going to have to fight mm-hmm. about this. Yeah, yeah. I really think it's the second one. Okay. Um, okay. And I want to fight you okay. if that's true. Okay. I. Okay. It's the only one I think can be true. Okay. Well, it's, read again, because that, that's that's what I vote too. I also vote the second one. The second one was if a man doesn't like his woman's outfit, she can't wear it. Yeah, this is that's, that's the real one. Okay. And I think Dave has to. I think it's that one for sure. I think it's that for sure. Yeah. Okay. Do I answer? Yeah. Yes. Of course it's that. <laughs> what <laughs> the actual of course, fuck, dude? Of course it's that one. No. She's wearing a turtleneck we... today. <laughs> I dressed it. myself. You're though. okay with that or you're not okay with that? No, I am. I am. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm not the type to dress like... Have you seen her crazy. when I met her? It was awkward. I was, I was in high school, okay? okay? I was 17 when we met. Uh, All right. So I've matured. Oh. <sighs> just, that's what I'm trying. That's what I was getting she, from what you guys were saying. No, I mean, I, dressed, I would never say that about you. I think she was dressing crazy. a little, just a little, a little, a little crazy. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're. Yeah, doing. yeah. And I, it wasn't like in the beginning. I was like, go ahead, do whatever you want. But as soon as I was like, okay, you're like we're locking this I down. Thought, yeah, it's just me. That's for me. Yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. And that's how it's behind the scenes. Mm. Fifteen years of been together. I, so yeah. I mean, I respect it. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. She dresses me as well, though. So yeah, it goes both ways. You should go both ways. I can't wear gray sweatpants outside. That's the thing. Print. Like a woman can tell you what to wear. Yeah. Like they may not say it's forced, but then you're not going to wear it. Yeah. Exactly. Because you don't exactly. want to deal with that all night. Exactly. <laughs> I do whatever she says. Legitimately. Yeah. So, yeah. I have a question. Like if I buy, 
Dave, go ahead. How many times I've bought something I like and it's just like, what? Is what do you do? Like, what yeah, do? I don't wear them. <laughs> she never gets them. She gets my clothes in the morning. She never gets what I pick. Ever. Anything I buy. No. Oh. Ever. No, I wear stuff and I, it's just like, why would you? Are you 15? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Help. Mentally. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm I mean, land before time sweater right now. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, I have like, a question. My suspender. Yeah. So my question is, okay, is it just about like if the outfit is like showing what you think to be too much or is it 100%. also like, is it just like, I hate that sweatshirt. You can't wear that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't. If she... Like all the clothes she has are things that I have already pre-approved. I hate that. I <laughs> yeah. hate you. Yeah. She's not. But I, I buy it. She's not it. She will be not wearing clothes, or she'll be. Singing. Well, she's doing her own shows. But now. I think it's more of the revealing. Yeah, it's like, absolutely. Yeah. You are not advertising yourself to other dudes. Yeah. Because dudes are attracted to women. They're attracted to her and what she wears right now. So she's showing skin. They're gonna want it even yeah. more. And I'm not having that because yeah. women she's like, like a the attention. Life. Women like that attention, which is why it's even an argument. They love the attention. You shouldn't mm. even argue about it. I don't know. It I feel be like that that's serious. like a it sounds good. blanket statement. That's feminism. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you. That's feminism. That, that, back in the day, women dressed wholesomely, and it was fine until feminism came that's in. That's true, yeah. And then women are like, true. empowerment is showing our body. And now, Rachel Dolezal has her OnlyFans. Pretend to be black. Why, why, do, you, why do you smoke cigarettes? Feminism. Why do women wear bras? It's, feminism. Yeah. Women wear bras because it was sold to them. It's all programming. Everything that everything that women follow. They were right told now, they had to by men against oh, bras. I'm against bras. They were told they had to by TV because TV wanted to sell it to women. It was, it was they literally wanted to sell. They it. were wearing women had the undergarments power. before TV bra, happened. Just look it up. I'm not even gonna argue about that. Okay. Undergarments didn't exist. I would feel like crazy walking around not wearing a bra though. Yeah, because of programming. I'm telling you. Just yeah. Look, look who look why bras They're were made called. Up. <laughs> Bras are called tit swings now, and, and they you make with the time saggy. With the time, make them saggy. You're right. All right, Mo. All right, Mo. Okay. Your horrible yeah. opinions. Okay. I don't but know I, if it does make a sense though, because if you look at it, where okay, like because Angela said it was a blanket statement. Mm -hmm. I get that, but let's say your dress is too revealing, and the problem is not that you're hot in it. <laughs> we just saw somebody at the grocery well. store yesterday wearing a like a bra in. In a sweater over it, but the sweater was open, and it was like you know what. And her, her boyfriend was walking right with her hand, and I'm like, why does he? Why is this Walmart? It was H E B, and I'm oh, like, why is this happening? This is a good place. Yeah, I'm like this is. I it was horrible. Where food's at? Because, <laughs> yeah. because he can't say like uh, your stretch marks are bubbling over your pants, and you're humiliating me. Yeah. He would never like, say he that has to, to her. Just, you got a baker's no, dozen of I, muffin tops going on. He has to affirm it. Yeah. And, well, some some like, do. Yeah. I'm not going to. I'd rather but be yeah, single. This is the thing. If a woman fights me about it, we don't even gotta be together. Like you could go, go find a man it. that is okay with it, but then she won't leave. Respect. Because, yeah, it's like it's not even. I'm not forcing it. It's just I'm not gonna allow it. Yeah. I'm I made like, my wife like, wear yeah, okay, no I shoes in the. That's what it is. It's, I just have standards, and yeah. if you, it's just like a woman. That's if I say, thing. if I say, I want to cheat, and she says no, and I say, well, I have an issue with that, and she's gonna, <laughs> everyone's gonna look at me like I'm crazy. Right. Mm. Yeah. That's the same thing. We just have things that we require of each other, and if we don't, I mean, I don't think we'll women should be walking around dressed like that, anyways. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think people can wear well, what they well, want. What but I understand. Her, what yeah. No, they, she can absolutely wear what she wants. I'm not going to force anything. What if her not, job though? She's then going to stick around. Yeah. She'll just, <laughs> yeah. What if her job is to help? <laughs> then she's not. Nobody. She better bring my fucking money. She better bring me every dollar home. I think somebody's telling her something. You got to get back on the track. Yeah. Wear less. Yeah, you're wearing too yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look too revealing. I haven't seen a car stop in 20 minutes. <laughs> Hike up that dress. Let's go. Yeah. That's so right. I mean, right, you know, okay. opinions. Okay. So I don't know if they're horrible, but they're bad to me. Okay. Um, your spouse should come before your children. Agree. I always okay. come. That's one. <laughs> I'm always coming. What the hell? Children kind of should be said children. Um, <laughs> you said children. Yeah, before children. Good uh, Lord. Children <laughs> at all is kind of crazy. Yeah. Gen uh, gender roles are not important. And then. I don't agree with that. Me either. It is socially acceptable for couples to sit on the same side of the booth when it's just them. Shoot them. No. Yeah. No. Arrested. They should be arrested. Yep. Lock them up. I don't like those kind of people. <clears throat> it's fucking weird. Yeah. So like Those people that really, always sit like I mean, super close to each other and they're always like hugging and stuff. And it's like, you've been dating for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. Get over it. Get the fuck well, across I mean, the just Sit on the other side. Yeah. It's fine. I agree. Yeah. I think I get it. Your husband's gay, but you don't have to prove it every time you go out. 
<laughs> needs a steak yeah. cut for him. All right, you guys go ahead and guess oh, which uh, one. Let's start with you. You know, I don't know. Really? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with number three. I'm gonna go with number three. What was number three? That it's socially acceptable to sit on the same side. I think that's the one that she agrees with. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen you guys sit on the same side before. When they're alone. Australia. You ain't seen that unless you're a stalker. <laughs> I've seen that as well. My, through the window. Photo lens across the street. I was watching you guys. <laughs> I'm going to guess. Okay, so number two was that gender roles are not important. Yes. Okay, well, mm. I, I think the number three as well then. Dave? I'm going to say number, number two. Number two. Okay. <laughs> well, you're all wrong. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Well, what is it? It was a uh, uh, spouse should come before children. Yeah. Good for you. Oh, well, yeah. 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 That's Children correct. should come first. You agree like, with it, so I'm surprised you didn't say that. Yeah. I, I, I agree because if you don't take care of your spouse, then you both are hurting. Your butt yeah. heads no, wait, wait, and you're wait. both hurting, yeah. and then it hurts the kids. Absolutely. Turn. Absolutely. I agree. So you absolutely should put wait, your spouse first. You're saying first. that you think spouse comes first? Yes. yes. Oh, but they're a whole ass grown adult, and kids are kids. <laughs> <laughs> the spouse okay. should be able to take care of himself. Well, not, not the like, children like, can't. Not, not like, like needs. Not like a uh, whole ass adult. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, like emotionally and like, with like the decisions that you make, yeah, you know, like, cause without your spouse, the kids wouldn't be there. And then if your spouse is having, like you said, if your spouse is having issues, it can reflect on the kids. And, and also you, if you split up and it ends up a single mother home, you know how that kid's going to be. True. And like, I could almost say, I, I don't have children. So I, I know like the love is like completely un unconditional, but like you love your spouse enough to have children you know, to yeah. make those I mean, kids. An example. You live in a, you have these marriages that are held together only because of the kids. And then when yes. the kids all move out, then the marriage falls apart because it was not about the yeah. love that they had. That's you know, true. It was more about taking care of the kids. I think you should absolutely take care of each other. Yep. Obviously, you're still taking care of the kids. That's what makes you take care of the kids. Exactly. Yep. I agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Yep. And F the all the people born. that sit on the same side of the booth. I can't oh, stand yeah. those people. <laughs> Kids come out of the the, the right. spouse coming first. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. No. Angela. Okay. It's true. In that case, the kid should never come. come. Ever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> should be. Okay. So my uh, opinions are lying a little or having small secrets is okay in a relationship sometimes. Okay. I feel like that might be it, but you're Wait. you're a pretty good oh, actor. I was about to say she's actor, acting so. really well, so I da, don't da, da, know. Da, da. Um, marriage counseling is bullshit and often means you're headed for divorce. Okay. Oh. Okay. One. Spicy. You should always live with someone before you get married. I'm going that one. Okay. Like I want to say Three. the. I think all of them are good. Yeah, actually, opinions. Yeah. There was no bad. No, I want to say too because oh, I have my opinions one. on therapy and and stuff. But like three. I think. Let me clarify. The first one was actually terrible. My bad. Forget what was yeah, the first, first one again. Said lies are good. Oh, the lie. Yeah, no, no. I think three. I think number three. Yeah, Dave. I'm gonna go three as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm going you? three as well. Okay. That that's the true one. Yeah. Yes. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know you, Angela. You got a clean sweep. You yeah, yeah. I think that what you should that? live Erect. with somebody uh, before you get married. Yeah. True. And roast me in the comments. I don't care. <laughs> I think you're right. No, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Because then you experience make sense. the full. You need to know what you're getting into before yeah. you make a commitment like that. Absolutely. Because some Garrett, people go home and can be psychos. Case. Yeah, you need to know if you're with know. us. It's, it's hard to hide your psycho <laughs> yeah. when you're living with somebody 24-7. Like, well, I want to know. Yeah, look at Jeffrey Dahmer. He went out and was normal in public. Yeah. And then went home and had butts in his fridge. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. That's a great quote. <laughs> like, this is true. For real. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he was kind of normal. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of normal. Sort yeah. of normal. He, he was wasn't actually normal. <laughs> no, dude, he was yeah. not normal. At all. Did you ever see the video of Jeffrey Dahmer's dad? He t had like a camcorder on him, and Jeffrey Dahmer was like talking about life, and even in that weird in like, real life. Yeah, it was just like he he was just filming him. He was playing around with his camcorder, filming his son. Jeffrey Dahmer, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I just, I just can't have you guys come over. I got to make sure I clean up the house before you guys come over. It's like, that's pretty good impression. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this was after he was like. a killer? This was during, yeah. Like, oh, currently wow. in his house, he had booties in the <laughs> freezer. In that tub? Yeah. That While he's talking to his dad. Yeah. That's wow. Crazy. Weird. 
All right, uh, I'll go and then Dave yeah. will go because I'm sure Dave's going to be great. I know, I'm, I'm excited for Dave's. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for all day. <laughs> all right, also, I'm going to go with that one, the last one. I always, honestly can't even remember which one was right. <laughs> That's why we put them on cards. So you which wouldn't... one do you believe? <laughs> oh, I can't read. <laughs> uh, on Valentine's Day, no means yes. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Only on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I was about to say, that's no, every day. Only on Valentine's Day. That's every day. Oh, man. Let you fill the blanks on that one. <laughs> she lets me fill all the blanks, even if she says no. Okay. Okay. On paper, John Wayne Gacy is a better person than most of us. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a beautiful Valentine's Day. Because of his life opinion. accomplishments? He had a lot of relationships. He also had court documents. <laughs> that's on paper. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, that's right, before he was found one? out. What's the last? One? Before he was found out, like okay. I think he did a lot of stuff. He, you know, he okay. kids. Is this the real he, one? He was a clown. <laughs> yeah, helped people. <laughs> he helped people a lot. He was like part of uh, the Republican uh, government at the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Work, a w, working man. Yeah, he was a working man. He had yeah. businesses. He was like running pizza huts or something. Then I'd vote for him. Maybe with some dead. <laughs> hey, <body>. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those the people yeah. with the bodies out. in their basements were giving him. He had bodies back to natural. Whatever they said. They learned from him. Yeah, except John Wayne Gacy had way less bodies. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Way less. Wasn't even close. <laughs> no. <laughs> he took people out on dates. He dressed up as a clown for him. He did. Oh, it was a great uh, self gen <laughs> yeah, Steven song for him. He let the men stay with him. He did. Like in death. Before he killed them. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Just like uh, a clown on a date, there's a good chance they might murder you. <laughs> hired kids that didn't have jobs. Yeah. Jo- I gave him summer jobs. Just for the kids. He let yeah. the kids come first before his. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, he came oh, first yeah. the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you're um, right. <laughs> he also the hired one. them to kill them. <laughs> he did. Yes. He did. Sort of yeah. That. He did. Um, That's, uh, you know. <clears throat> okay. Well, uh, you should not have sex before you're married. You should not? Should not. So. These are your opinions? Yeah, <laughs> so one opinions. of those is your opinion. These opinions that you, f- that you <laughs> also practice? No means yes. <laughs> what do you mean? Because you believe in you believe in them. I'm not giving you more information okay, on okay. these fucking. I'm going things. three, okay. three. Yeah, he can't think John Wayne Gacy. No, I'm going to <laughs> paper. See, There's I'm no trying way. to think because those are real. Those are hard ones. Yeah, those yeah. are good ones. Because oh, yeah. John Wayne Gacy. I think it's John Wayne Gacy. Oh, on that's paper. what I was gonna I'm say. I, w- I was gonna say number two <laughs> as well. But wait, you're you said you said you what? should not have sex before, before you're married. married. Yeah. yeah. Should doesn't mean he yeah, that's did what, that or didn't. And why are you about. trying to bring up my past? All right, that's <laughs> I'm not, what I said. I'm just I clear, about asking that. for clarifying. He's a changed man. Oh wait, I wait. So about did that. you did, wait? Did you have he did. a kid before yeah. you married? He did. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought that you like got married in high school or something. Uh, I did. <laughs> yeah, they both had their first child very yeah. young. Oh, he was, we were married before he was out though. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. <sighs> but the sex happened. Oh yeah, it did. Okay. Oh yeah. I think that it's that one. I think that it's. I think that you think that. I think so too. Damn, I really want to say number two, but I'll go number three, too. Okay. Dave? Dave? I'm going to definitely go with John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> what a straight face, bro. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, what did you say? Three. Three, two. No, I said I changed it. Three. <sighs> Cheater. All right. Three, <laughs> two. I did say two originally. I'll, okay. Oh, that's not fine. Well. My first answer, I guess, is was two. What is it? All right, it's three. Okay. <sighs> it is three. Okay. Obviously, because I made mistakes. Yeah. Me too. But true, and you said not should for, not for reasons that you might think. <laughs> what are the Tune reasons? in next time, because uh, if you both don't have sex with anybody else, and you're like the first ones, right? Yeah. Then you can develop and learn along the way. No, I don't. You like should that. still be married. <laughs> you should still be married. That's what he's saying. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you were saying before. As long as you just are both. No, 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 he's no, saying no, that's saying why like, they should. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. No, I agree. Together. I agree. Yeah. I agree. My honest opinion is that I think that you should have sex. Before Why? You're married. Just Why? Be- because I believe in sexual compatibility, and I think that. But I don't Do think you? that's a thing. I think that's I fake. Think, I think that's fake. I, I believe think in you it. can grow that's together. Feminism. And learn. I believe and it. I think you that's grow feminism, together. I think. See, that's when together. I had to go with my like. Obviously. How could you know? Okay, so here's a, here's another thing too. I'm not so I'm not a Christian. I was so gonna say my religious it beliefs. Doesn't, okay. my, so the religious I, my, beliefs my point of wasn't, it. Yeah, I don't think it, it, it doesn't really anything have to do religious. with Christian stuff. But it's just how freaky you want to get, and you eventually get freaky. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I guess so. I yeah, I would just in my own personal experience with my own life, like I, I just believe in sexual compatibility, and I think that I would want to know 
But you wouldn't know if you didn't. They're working. <laughs> have any other partner except for you mean one. Link? But then I get married, and then what? What if like that just? But but how would you know? Because you have nothing to compare it to. Oh, that's true. And and if he didn't know, know either, that. like if you were both virgins, you'd yes, be like, wow, this you. is what it is. <laughs> I'm just saying it's me. <laughs> you just want to know. That's that is the compatibility. Yeah, true. That's true. Because then you wouldn't you assume that's the best? You'd be like, I'm a lesbian then. <laughs> yeah. What if I don't know I'm a lesbian yet? What? Well, Until you wouldn't you know, sex? but if you had sex uh, I don't with, think a, yeah, with a works. guy, <laughs> and then you're married, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, I don't like this at all. You're like, oh, dang. Well, it's gross. It's, I'm just uh, saying, I don't have those, uh, yeah, I don't have have those convictions about like uh, no. sexual... Like, s- sex is a big part of a relationship for me, and I just... That's I, just the no, way. Yeah, I, think, I get it, but I just yeah. think that that's uh, made up propaganda. That's not even what I was going I get what you're saying, though. That's right. We can still be friends. I think two people that have no idea how to have sex to... Together I can learn yeah. I agree. to to know what the other person likes. You don't have to be compatible with them right off the bat. You can become compatible. Yeah. I don't I think see. we were. I think we were just two teenagers being stupid. Yeah. And yeah. then eventually you go, okay, that person likes that. I like this. Yeah. And then you're you become like open about telling each other, and then you develop that. What if you're sexually compatible, but you're just not compatible as people? That happens. I think that happens a lot. Yeah, I think that happens more than often, and yeah, then people get lot. married because they're sexually compatible, and, and then, then they end up divorced. Crash uh-huh. and burn. That, that totally happens too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then you got to run through partners, which lessens your chances of bonding with the with a partner. You don't have you, to run but, through partners, but you will if you're never actually satisfied because you're looking for satisfaction rather than a bond to be built. If you're looking. To be satisfied, you're going to keep looking because there's always the chance that someone might be better than the last one. See, every I don't, single I don't time. agree with that Longer, because, like, the, the way that I, my relationship is with my husband, it's like we're best friends. Yeah, and it's like you got. Lucky. It took a lot. Yeah. I well, hey, but yeah. it took a lot of like figuring out what I needed in a partner to like get there, and I feel yeah. like. I just don't Everyone's agree. Different. I just don't agree. I just don't agree. Everyone's different. All right, Dave. What are your Dave. Uh, horrible opinions? <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so ridiculous. I, I I didn't know we were playing this game, so I'm just gonna uh, guess. Oh, okay. your real opinions? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I think that um, you should have as many sexual partners as humanly possible. Uh, that way, when you do get married, you both have the same disease. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like a chicken pox. If you get it, it goes away and you never get true. it again. That's true. So you want to get that yeah. out of the way. That's true. Okay. I think it's totally forgivable to hit a woman once. <laughs> okay. 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 Right? Just once. I'm right though. there with you. Right? I'm right there with you. <laughs> um Was it wait, was that the like, second? Was that, that, yeah, the second? that was the second one. Yeah. Okay. That was the second. Like you get and like really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Closed fist or open? So, either right? it, whatever you feel okay okay <laughs> you know i like to say whatever gets the point across <laughs> okay um and my my third one is uh you have three great loves in your life so you may have sex before you're married or maybe even after you're married a second time that's uh mm-hmm. that's what i think you have three great loves throughout your entire life that sounds like so hope. like your first love that sounds like hope and then somebody you find, and then you might end up finding another one if the first one doesn't work out or they die or something. So the first one wasn't love? It was. But, but think it, about it. Can, well, no, it's a different way. Like, love can what? Love, love can face. what? What are you talking well, you, about? You <laughs> I feel like you have crazy. I feel like think. your real opinions are way worse. <laughs> <laughs> your, first, your first love can be... A kindergarten. Uh, yeah, Basketball. your first love can be very, very young. Yep. Yeah, you very, think you yeah, love very it. Very immature. Yes. I don't think yes. that's real love. But you don't know because you're little. Like when you're when you're first yeah, crush, the person it felt like love, love, though. That's you know? so not true. Yeah, right? it's not love. Yeah, but yeah. you think you might five, think it is. I don't think it is. When you're five, you love spaghettios, but Facts. you don't shove your dick into a spaghettios now. <laughs> yeah. I think you like them now. <laughs> I do. I, I'll I, say. It. Don't tell me what I do. <laughs> okay, all right, Vlad. Which one do you think was is that his actual opinion? The third one. Yeah, I think the third too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go number two. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I know Dave uh, pretty well. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> as hard as it takes to get the point across. Uh, I'm gonna I think it's probably well. terrible. Yeah. It's going to be pretty easy to clip that one. I should have thought. <laughs> yeah, just to clip that her. Alone. Are you talking about that one? Are you talking about clip her? Just, with designed. your fist? Just number oh, yeah, two. Just right off the uh, <laughs> Well, clearly it's number two. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's the third. Yeah. It's the third one. 
It's the third, the rule of threes, <laughs> number three in my thing. You will oh, have three yeah. loves in your life. Just that like they my, say, uh, uh, what else is it? Death happens in threes too, they say. Okay, here we go with this. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's yeah, true, though. Death they, happens they, in they, fucking hundreds. <laughs> that doesn't happen. It happens true. in millions. Personally. In, well, personally. It still happens in hundreds. You, okay. That's I hate that shit, bro. <laughs> That's like a Chrissy Mayer over here talking about astrology. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Shut up, Chrissy. <laughs> well, astrology is a load of shit. That's Facts. not a real opinion. Oh, you don't. <laughs> That's I'm a real astrology. I'm under the Scorpius, okay? I'm, that means I've the got. Scorpius. I'm a water sign, so no, don't fuck with me. You know? I'm kidding. I'm a, I'm a Leo. Yeah, I, based my, I based my entire day on astrology.org. Your horse. I used to. <laughs> I used to really do that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. When we first met, I'd be like, yo, we're compatible signs. Like, this is supposed to be. Yeah. I was really into it. <gasps> yeah. Can't be we're sure. also on, like, some drugs and stuff. Adderall. So. I used to read <laughs> also that. Yeah. Uh, when I was on Adderall. I was like, it all connects. <laughs> Let's read a book about birds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was so into it. Like, yo, lions and crabs. Yeah. It was too Yo, much. emus. Emu. Emus. Emu. Emu. Emus. It, put it in the chat right now. How do you say it? Emu, emu or emu? Or emu. It's emu. Emu. What did you say? Emu. 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 Fuck, don't you fucking yeah. say Which one did you say? I heard it. W. <laughs> Which one? It was a little say? bit of both. <laughs> I heard emu. I think it's, I just say emu. Yeah, emu. I think that's what lazy people do. Who wants to oh. say mew? That's like I'm saying you're lazy. Dare you. <laughs> I, just think it's la <laughs> I think it's lazy to not throw in the yeah. It's emu. It's, yeah. it's not Wait, emu. Yeah. Emu. I think it's emu. It's emu. in there. Emu. You. It would be e yeah. w. Yeah. You got ears. Look, well, this is riveting content. I raise <laughs> alpacas. Don't do that. So I don't really care. <laughs> he raises raise alpacas. alpacas. Wait, who does? <laughs> Dave. I do. Wait. Oh. What? Didn't know about that. You what? didn't know about his alpacas? Well, because I don't, I, no I don't care for emus. Yeah, I have like 16. <laughs> Wait, like, is that dead ass serious? I'm saying the word emu. I can't now. believe it. Yeah, you, you just go to my apartment. <laughs> We're all spitters. There's 16. The, they're, they're, they're in the basement. They're dress, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're different from emus. They're, they're not alive. <laughs> I have, They're I currently have 16, liquefied. Yeah. I have 16 yeah. squirting alpacas in my... <laughs> 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 All right, uh, the show's ending. Uh, okay. uh, end of the Love world. you guys, man. <sighs> oh, end of the world. End of the world! <laughs> uh. It's Valentine's Day. What sayings should they put on the uh, Brock Conversation Hearts? You know those little uh, little hearts that you get on Valentine's Day that yeah. taste like shit? I like them. I know you're going to say that. They're gross, dude. You should have used that for your bad opinion because that's trash. They're good. I like them. My teeth are bad, though. I can't yellow ones? What's wrong with you? The yellow ones are just delicious. No, yellow's are worse pink. You know at the end of the day when they like wipe off all the chalkboard and at the bottom there's like that pile of chalk they get in and they put in a little... <laughs> so, like, into compress it in a little heart and they sell it. <laughs> they are kind of like candles the, the, in Halloween. You eat that stupid corn shit. Yeah, I hate corn. I love candy corn. They too. are kind of like Pepto Bismol tabs. Yeah, have you ever had those? Like the chewable ones? Hey, they do kind of taste like those. All right. Uh, what should today. be on there? <laughs> <laughs> Is it me first? Um, should I do, do my yeah, first? Yeah, okay, yeah, just for the, the flow of it. Uh, uh, threesome. Okay. Okay. But like three, yeah. 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 Some. Ooh, nice. I like it. I I'll like go it. Next. Nice. Um, Angela. S U M. Uh, vi vibrator. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's like a vibe. Oh. Yeah. It's like R and B. Oh, like Almost we're like, vibing. But it's, an R. it's like R and R. Yeah, like, that's my yeah. Valentine's Nice. All right. What? Uh, All right, Mo. Should I go? No. Oh, wait, flawed, 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 mine. Go. Uh, mine is F B W for friends with benefits. Ooh, you dyslexic? For? For? Yeah. What else you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Fuck with Biden. Yeah. F -B F -W -B for friends with benefits. F -W oh, you said BW. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was thinking BBW. 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 Wide booty. Which is so funny considering the conversation we just had. That <laughs> yeah, I'm totally. Yeah. You're totally into that. <laughs> That's my thing. Uh, Mel, what's yours? What's yours? Mm, I'm going to have to say uh, I swallow. We know. <laughs> oh, Love you. She does, though. Oh, oh, Dave. Dave, bring us home. Uh, you've been roofied. <laughs> That's the best one. <laughs> That's a Dr. Huxtable. Right you got to make sure to give it to him, though, after. <laughs> it'll ruin the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. My bad. Too yeah. early. You don't, you want to go bragging until it sets in. Mm -mm. Hey, uh, to plug, 
Dave, you are in Las Vegas right now. Where can people see you in Vegas and when? I am at uh, Brad Garrett's Comedy Club at the MGM Grand all week. Come on by and say hi. And then next weekend, I am in uh, Saratoga, New uh, Where is it? Yeah, there you go. Sar- Saratoga Springs, New York, March 8th, Brighton, and March 15th, 16th, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, come on out to those shows. Nice. Vegas is awesome. That's I awesome. I wish we were there. Vegas is a ton of fun. Yeah. Thanks, Dave, for the, for the chocolates. And uh, I miss you, bro. Brad Garrett is a good club. I miss you. It's a great. It room, is a really man. cool. It really club. is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm on a 36th floor with a balcony, so it's good. I don't gamble anymore. <laughs> the windows are sealed for a purpose. It's like in China. Uh, not here. Oh no! Wide open. I have. I have a. I have Breezy. a penthouse with a balcony. If I feel like. <laughs> If I feel like teaching the world a lesson. <laughs> Taking the leap. <laughs> you have to come back here and host the show with me. Flood, where can people see you? Uh, you can find me at the club, bottle full of bub. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, that was gay. All right. Uh, <coughs> um, rumble.com slash Flawed TV. X.com slash Flawed TV. Also, I just dropped a song called Playing With God on all streaming platforms. Flawedzilla, look it up. Oh, it was so good. It's so good. I love Thanks the way it shot. It. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Great job. Thank you. It's really good. Mo. Thank you. Uh, YouTube. X and I started uh, streaming on Twitch too. Holy hey. moly! Yeah, yeah. by I'm yourself. Ar- yeah, I'm already an affiliate, and uh, go follow me over there. Yep. Making your own money, then you Absolutely. could choose your own outfit <laughs> <laughs> and be single. <laughs> Angela, uh, I'll just be home on the couch. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I have an Instagram. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Instagram Angela. is cute. It is. It is. I'll see you. Yeah. a baby picture. Yeah. I'm in the chat, so hit yeah. me up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's up? Say what's up. Hey, you can find me on uh, my personal channel. I've been streaming a whole lot more, uh, nice. trying to ramp that back up. And on uh, the Nerdrotic channel, where we make videos and do live streams on Friday. It's called Friday Night Tides. Check it out. Nice. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>